JP Morgan uh, Healthcare Conference kicks off today in San Francisco. Join us from the West Coast for an exclusive interview. Daniel O'Day, CEO of Gilead Sciences. The company is expecting nearly uh, two dozen updates on treatments this year. I don't know how to view. Good to see you, uh, Daniel. It's been a while. Uh, I don't know Good to see what you. I should. Uh, if in a nutshell, if I were to describe Gilead right now, can can you do that for us? It, it, HIV, very very powerful uh, drugs that you have. Huge revenues from from your HIV uh, medications. Hepatitis C, basically cured hepatitis C, but I don't think. Um, necessarily either one of those two things would define your company effectively uh, right now. It's so much more. Uh, Joe, yeah, pleasure to be here with you. I mean, you said a 2024 is going to be a very important year for Gilead Sciences. And that's because of the work the team has done to transform the company, to your point, over the past four years. You know, we more than doubled the number of medicines in our late stage portfolio over the past four years because of the investment in scientific research. So it's really a new era for Gilead Sciences in that many of these results have the potential to improve lives on a massive scale. It's like nothing we've ever done before. So in 2024, we're going to get um, results from more than around two dozen clinical trials, of which five of those are in the very late stages of development, the step before approval. And those are particularly in the areas of long-acting HIV prevention, which I know we'll talk about cancer and lung cancer in particular, and then also COVID-19. The, and we also, you know, you are, in the back of all investors' minds are, are patent expirations, et cetera. Tell us about the, the HIV franchise. It, it, that's got to be your biggest drug. Uh, is it Bic Tarvi or Bike Tarvi or how, how do you say that? <laughs> Bic Tarvi, Bic Tarvi. That's right. It's the number one prescribed treatment for uh, HIV today. More than a million patients treated, and it's it's made a significant impact on the on the uh, uh, on the epidemic of HIV. Uh, but. What, what we're also really excited about is the work we're doing on long-acting uh, medicines. You know, Joe, the, the current medicines, you take a pill once a day, and we're working on less frequent dosing. This year, we're going to have the first ever twice-a-year treatment that could prevent HIV in uh, people at risk of HIV. And uh, this is a medicine uh, that's really remarkable, actually, when you think about it. It's, it's been 16 years in the making by the Gilead scientists, the same ones that developed Big Tarvi. Uh, and this is really important because at the end of the day, uh, I, I believe that, uh, you know, moving to a, a twice a year um, HIV prevention medicine can really change the way we prevent uh, HIV across the globe. Uh, and really, we're on the cusp of, I, say, I think, seeing a, a seminal difference in um, in the HIV ep epidemic around the world. Our goal, uh, Joe, and we're not going to rest until we achieve this, is to end the HIV epidemic for everyone, everywhere. How would that work in terms of who, who's going to, and, and we're not talking about developed countries necessarily, uh, we're talking about less developed countries. How would you get that to every single person that needs it or, or around the world? What's, how, how do you maneuver through those uh, concerns, Dan? Yeah, so there's, um, yes, it's for both the developed world and the developing world. So today we have a very effective medicine that prevents HIV, but it's a once daily pill. And uh, only about one out of four people that could benefit from so-called HIV prep are taking it today. You can imagine, Joe, that taking a daily pill for a disease you don't have in either the developed world or the developing world is a difficult thing. Right. Lenacapavir, this twice a year medicine, is a simple shot. It's a simple shot that's administered once every six months. Uh, so uh, we, in both the developed and the developing world, this presents all new opportunities to, uh, to uh, prevent people from ever getting the disease. And of course, if you do two things, if you treat people effectively that have the disease, you suppress the virus to a level where they can't transmit it. And then if you prevent those people that uh, could benefit from PrEP, you really can imagine the whole incidence of HIV uh, coming down across the globe. And we have programs in both the developed world and the developing world getting ready for this trial readout this year. You have the, the breast cancer drug that, that might work on other things. How, how does that, what's the mechanism? What is the potential for, uh, I mean, how many solid tumors are, are you even thinking about testing the drug on? How's it work? 
Yeah, Joe, so this is one of these new uh, mechanisms called antibody drug con conjugants, and the medicine is called Trodelvi. It's, it's a leading antibody drug conjugate. The way it works is it, it's, uh, it, it, it attaches directly to the surface of cells that express a certain protein, and it carries with it a payload, if you like, that kills that cell. So it avoids uh, all the other complications or many of the other complications associated with just general chemotherapy in a very effective way. Trodelvi currently has been on, uh, available for three years. It's approved in two forms of breast cancer and a form of bladder cancer. Uh, but because of the nature of Tradelvi, it can be used in many more cancer types. And this year, one of the five readouts that we have in, in, in the very latest stage of development is Trodelvi in lung cancer, which is the, as you know, the largest, uh, most frequent uh, form of cancer. And so we're, we're, we're really looking at, at making advances now, not only in breast and bladder, but lung and other cancers as we move forward.